Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. In this IXL video, we are going to be covering O18, transversals of parallel lines. Find the angle measures. Before we jump right in, let's go ahead and quickly review the different angle pairs that are created when a transversal cuts through two parallel lines. All right, here are all of our angle pairs in one little spreadsheet. Please remember that not only is this part of the notes from Thursday, February 4th um, whole group session, I also have uploaded a separate one that is just this page and not the entire notes if this is all you want. All right, here we have a diagram of a transversal cutting through two parallel lines. In red, we have indicated our alternate interior angles. Remember, alternate means they're on opposite sides of the transversal. And interior means they're on the inside of my lines. So this angle right here, that has that red triangle, and this angle, they are alternate, interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent, which means they are equal to each other. So if this angle is 50 degrees, so is this one. Our second set is alternate exterior angles. So very similar, only these are on the exterior, so they're on the outside of our two lines. And that is noted in blue. So this is an example of an alternate exterior angle, and this would be its pair. Alternate, opposite sides of the transversal, and they're on the outside of the lines. These are also congruent, which means they are equal. So if this angle right here is 27 degrees, this angle is 27 degrees. In green, we have corresponding angles. Now, corresponding angles are on the same side of the transversal. We have a green one here and a green one here. And they're corresponding, so they're related. So they're in that same location, just on a different line. So notice that this one is beneath my line, as is this angle, it's beneath the line. Therefore, they're corresponding because they're in the same spot, just one's on line M, one's on line N. Corresponding angles are also congruent. Therefore, they're also equal. So if this angle is 90 degrees, then this corresponding angle is also 90 degrees. All right, in purple, we have our vertical angles. We learned that a couple weeks ago, but they also show up on these. Remember, vertical angles are opposite of each other. So it makes that X, or in this case, since it's not tilted, like a plus sign. So this purple one and this purple one, they're vertical angles, they're across from each other. And what do you know? Vertical angles are congruent too. So they're the same angle measurement. If this angle is 102 degrees, because this is its vertical angle, it would also be 102 degrees. All right, the last one that we cover is in pink, supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are adjacent, so they're next to each other, and they create a linear pair, which means they create a straight line. Whenever you have a straight line, how many degrees is it? 180. Therefore, this is the only one that is not congruent. This is the only pair that we'll be talking about this year on transversals that is not congruent, is if it's supplementary or I guess if it's complementary too. That just doesn't happen too often. These two angles that are supplementary, if I add them up, they would equal 80 degrees or 180 degrees. So let's say this one is 60 degrees then this would have to be 120. All right, now that we've refreshed our memories, let's go and look at it on the IXL assignment itself. All right, once again, this is assignment 018. All right, if we look at this diagram, we have two parallel lines, 
and they are cut by a transversal. We are told that the measure of angle QPS is 125 degrees. I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna label it because if I don't label things, I'm gonna forget them. All right, so QPS is 125 degrees. And remember, that's the order I need to go in to find the angle. So look for Q and then trace it to P and then trace it down to S. That angle right there is 125 degrees. And we want to discover the angle measurement of O, P, N. So let's trace that one. Start with O, go to P, and work your way to N. The very first thing we should do is figure out which one of these angle pairs they are, because that will help us know whether they're congruent, so they're equal, or whether they're supplementary, they add up to 180, or in the rare case, complementary and add up to 90. I notice that these angles are opposite of each other. They form that X. They're opposite of each other, which means these are vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent. Therefore, if this one is 125, this also has to be 125. There we go. All right. So same thing, just different problem, and you're gonna see a really big pattern in all of these, I sure hope. All right, GI and JL are parallel lines, so this time our lines are running up and down, and MF would be our transversal. The measure of angle LKM is 70 degrees. Let's trace that out. L to K to M is 70 degrees. And we want to find the angle measurement. So the measurement of angle J, K, H. So J, K, H. Huh, looky there, what kind of angles are those? Those are vertical angles again. Notice that they're, they make that X, they're across from each other, they're opposite of each other. So once again, we have vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent, which means they're equal. Therefore, this also has to be 70 degrees. All right, MO and PR are parallel lines, okay? The measure of, I'm oh, sorry. Trying to change my color here. The measure of angle ONQ is 49 degrees. ONQ is 49 degrees. What is the measure of PQN? PQN. Ooh. This time, they're not vertical. I don't have that X. So I got to think about my other pairs. The first thing I look for is where my angles are located. Because if they're both on the inside, it's alternate interior. If they're both on the outside, it's probably alternate exterior. And if they're on the same side of the transversal, it's likely to be corresponding. So these two angles, I have one here and one here. Notice that they are both inside my lines. So they're both interior angles. Now are they alternate? Yep. One is on the right of my transversal and one is on the left. So these do match the definition of alternate interior angles. And alternate interior angles are congruent, which means it's 49 degrees. There we go. We'll do a couple more because there are, 
there's a big variety here. All right, CE and FH are parallel. The measure of FGI is 68 degrees. FGI is 68 degrees. What is the measure of HGD? HGD. Oh my goodness, we got another X. <laughs> We're getting lots of vertical angles. So if they're vertical angles, what does that mean it equals? 68 degrees because they are congruent. All right, this will be our final problem. GHE is 120 degrees. GHE is 120 degrees. What is the measure of DEC? DEC. All right, they don't make an X, so therefore they're not vertical. So when we think about our other pairs, if they're both on the inside, it's probably alternate interior. If they're both on the outside, it's most likely alternate exterior. If they're both on the same side, it's likely to be corresponding. Are these both on the same side? They are. This angle and this angle are both on the same side. They're both on top of my transversal. The second thing I need to look for to see if they're corresponding is are they in the same spot, just on a different line? And yes, this one is to the right of my first line, and this is to the right of my first line. So same location, different line, which means they're congruent. It's 120 degrees. All right, as you guys are working on this IXL, make sure you try to practice the name of these because that is something you will be tested over, okay? So it's not just about knowing that they're congruent, it's also about knowing what kind of angles they are because knowing the definitions as well as knowing that they're congruent are both critical pieces. So if you need to, download a copy of this or download a copy of the full set of notes if you wish where there is a separate page for every single type if seeing all of them together is overwhelming to you. So that way you can work on memorizing these definitions and angle pairs. As always, if you guys need anything, send me an email or come to my help session. Bye.